industrialized analytics, to me, means becoming an insight-driven organization. We have seen analytics been driven up the agenda in, in, in CIOs and CEOs of the last few years. It is now the top item in, in our CIO agenda, both in terms of investment and impact to the business. However, despite this, very few organizations have made the right investments and progress required to harness the power of analytics. And that is because many organizations still see it as a technology investment and a technology-driven agenda item. CEOs going forward need to deploy the right talent, put the right governance processes in, in place, and understand the capabilities across their entire organization in order to industrialize analytics and become true insight-driven organizations. In order to really harness the power of analytics, companies need to change the way they think about data. Traditionally, companies have thought about the problems they want to solve and have acquired the data required to solve them. These days, you need to turn that process around. You need to acquire and harness as much data as possible and then use that to derive insights today and insight that might be important for the company tomorrow. This approach also enables companies to store data using distributed techniques such as distributed architectures or data lakes and also allows you to apply analytical techniques such as um, cognitive pattern recognition and advanced visualizations in order to find hidden pattern and hidden insights in the data that they have. There are many ways in which a company can structure its analytics function to drive its analytics journey. And unfortunately, there is no one answer or one size fits, fits all. Whether that function sits centrally, whether it acts as a center of excellence, or whether it sits distributed in, in the company's function, will depend on what insights are required and where the talent in the company lies. What is really important, however, is that there is an explicit talent intent and, and, and talent strategy around how you harness the analytics capability of a company. Whether that is reskilling existing um, employees who might have adjacent talents, whether that is creating partnerships with universities or other companies, or whether it's using uh, crowdsourcing companies such as Kaggle, for example, in order to crowdsource that, um, that capability. Being explicit about it is important. And if you can have both an operating model that you're clear about and an explicit talent strategy, you can really embed analytics in the business, drive insights and industrialize the capability. Like any transformative journey that an organization goes through, the analytics journey is not without its risks. The two key risks that spring to mind are of course cybersecurity and data privacy. Cybersecurity specifically is not only around uh, the threat of uh, cyber attacks on, on a company's data, but it's also using analytics to detect patterns and actually help thwart any, any, any cyber threat that a company might face. It is important therefore, particularly in, in, in a world where data is, is of large scale and distributed across the company, such as in, in, in a data lake for example, that you not only consider those risks, but have, have the right governance and processes in place in order to manage the data effectively. As with every long journey, a company's analytics journey starts with a single step. The first step is to try and understand what analytics capabilities organizations already have and how they can use those capabilities in other parts of the organizations to drive insight. There are very few clients who we have seen who do not have any capability in terms of being able to do some sort of analytics or drive insight from the data. The second step is to be clear about communicating where analytics sits in the organization and the importance of it. And some companies have achieved this by either appointing a chief data officer or a chief analytics officer whose job it is to develop that capability and drive that message through, through the company. The third and most important step in my view is to recognize that analytics is not just about making decisions on reducing costs or driving efficiencies. If you've harnessed all this data and you have the capability you can actually drive insights across the entire business and actually change the way 
parts of your business operate to a much, much greater effect than, than you have previously done so. What we have seen is that what separates companies who use analytics as a one-off exercise to derive a particular bit of insight or to make a decision from those that have industrialized analytics in their organization is that those that have industrialized the analytics have taken that journey with those three steps in mind.